taking a live look outside on this beautiful Monday morning. And you see our skies out there are glistening and beautiful. And Darren Peck joins us now to talk about what you can expect for your work week. Good morning, Darren. Good morning, guys. The, the first couple of days of the work week, we're going to get more blue sky and we're going to be a couple of degrees warmer and we're not getting rained on. So we're kind of changing the pattern for a short period. There are two more systems coming our way for the second half of the week that have the chance to bring us a little more rain. If we just take a look at the big picture here, you can see the clouds behind me from our vantage point from the virtual set. And when you look at the huge monitor, you can see there's a storm out in the Pacific that gets here in about two days. We've got to go pretty far out to the other side of the Pacific to find that one. So in the meantime, let's just get you ready for today. We're going to use the virtual map and we'll put today's daytime highs on here. There's a lot of low 60s. And you'll probably top out at 62 in San Jose. You'd gotten used to hitting 70 for much of last week. So welcome back to normal. Upper 50s in the Tri-Valley. Oakland, your number's going to the upper 50s. We'll see temperatures in the mid-50s in the city, but there's going to be a bit of an onshore breeze today. It'll be noticeably windy anywhere near the water, but it won't be as bad as yesterday. Yesterday, those were north winds. It was cold yesterday. It had like a wind chill factor on it, and everybody felt it. Today, what's different about it is it's kind of more the traditional onshore breeze. So you kind of have to be near the water to feel it today, and that means for most of us who are inland, it will feel a bit better as a result. All right, let's take a look at the approach of these next two systems. First one getting here Wednesday, you're going to see rain in the seven-day forecast. There's just not a lot to it. We watch this one a little bit more closely, and you can see the showers from this one. Really going to be a lot more hit and miss throughout the day on Wednesday. Focused a little more on the second half of the day. We come in for a closer view here. You can see this is not like a blockbuster storm. We maybe get a quarter of an inch of rain out of this one for Wednesday. The challenge then becomes the next system after it. You see that little green blob right there? That's going to get pulled into the Wednesday system and develop itself into a cutoff low, and those things become real tricky. So here's the one thing that does look a little more certain about this one. Friday, it brings in some of its best rain. Friday, you'll see, has rain on it in the seven-day. But after that, the system kind of gets pulled off the coast. It does that weird cutoff low thing. These things are cut off from the storm track. So there's nothing steering them along or motivating them to move. And oftentimes, they behave in weird ways. So by the weekend, it kind of drifts back off the coast. That makes this a difficult forecast. And as we look at it in the seven-day forecast, you're going to see Wednesday's rain shows up, and that's the easy one. Not a lot to it, but a little, maybe about a quarter of an inch of rain here. Thursday, we're in between the two systems, so we got to call it a chance of a shower, but nothing major. Friday looks like the more noticeable rain. Maybe a half an inch of rain, maybe a little more from that one. And then the weekend becomes the important aspect of it. Right now we've got rain on Saturday. But the way these systems work when they're cut off lows like this, we usually get a much better handle on them about three days out. So that means we'd be talking about Wednesday. So stay on top of this forecast with us. On Wednesday, we're going to be able to get a lot more specific for planning your weekend around showers.